welcome back to my channel i've got my coffee with me today and we are setting up a new journal here is my current journal it's getting pretty thick and i'm just opening it up to show you guys how many pages i have left there's not too many so i'm going to need a new journal pretty soon so i thought it was time to set up my next journal this journal is from papillion press they make all their journals it's really cool i found it at a farmer's market where i live and it's a really cool french pinwheel design and i loved the pages on the inside i also picked this journal because it's a smaller journal which i just went through a really big journal and so i think it would be good to kind of have a break and going through a small journal can really help with any kind of journal slump you have, it feels really nice to go through a journal at a faster speed after going through a really long one, or just in general. But I'm just laying out my stickers and seeing how I want them. I go through a lot of different layouts, but with these same stickers, I kind of already figured out which stickers I wanted to use for this journal. And I have a couple of my own stickers in this mix. The Strawberry Mobile sticker and the Frog Cake sticker. My Etsy is Star Stationery Supply if you want to check them out. The Strawberry Mobile is part of my newer collection. So yeah, I keep going back and forth with the sticker placement and where I want things. And if I want certain stickers on this journal, you guys know the drill. The smile sticker and the coffee sticker are both from All Things Lillian. Like I said, the two are from my Etsy. The little phone sticker is actually I got for free from, I think it's called Self Cares for Everyone. They sell like sweatshirts and stuff. I need to find the Etsy of the little Lego brick, and then the gummy bears and the cherries are actually from a little journal kit that I got. Well, it was technically a stationary kit, and it was meant to make cards with, but that I actually have no idea where you would find that, but I'm sure you could find some cute gummy bear or cherry stickers to replace these. And yeah, this is what it turned out like for me. I'm not sure if I really like the cover, but I just moved on to the inside. I wanted to keep this French pinwheel, like it's about the history of the French pinwheel design and about this place where I got the book from. So I wanted to keep that on the inside so that I would know about it. And I just used my dot liner to stick it in. And then I used some washi tape for the design. Didn't really actually do anything because it was already glued in, but just for the aesthetic, I guess. I'm using a black post-it note as my centerpiece for the first page. And this heart washi tape that I found at Scrap, which is a, basically an art thrift store. I used my mushroom washi stickers that I got in the haul that I just posted so you guys can check that out and i'm using my pentel sparkle i think it's sparkle pop yes the pentel sparkle pop in like the silver to write on the black because they write really nicely on black paper i was thinking about adding some kind of sticker for the empty space on this page and I went through the stickers I have, but none of them worked out. So I'm just cutting up some scrapbooking paper. I also got this at Scrap, but if you go to like Michael's or Joanne's, any craft store, they typically have a scrapbook papers section and you can pick out whatever paper you like. So I'm sure there's one that's like this same type of collaged words or little 
article papers. So I'm just trimming that to fit in my journal. And I have everything except for the start and end date. So I'm just taking a little memo note and cutting it down to the size I want. I got this from Fluff Nest and I'm putting that in to put as my start and end date. I'm looking through my individual stickers washi sticker sets you've probably seen this one type before and i'm just laying out the stickers how i want them i'm using some more of this washi tape it matches the other side but also to create a border on this memo note and then i'm adding in the stickers that I mentioned. I got these stickers from CW Pencil Enterprise, I think, in New York, but I think there's a million places that you can find these stickers. And I'm not sure what they're called because they're in a different language, but if you maybe if you look on places like Stationery Pal and stationery stores like that, you'll be able to find it. So I'm just putting away my stationery supplies now. And this is the final. This is the cover that I'm not really sure about. And then I really do like the inside. There's a little spot to write on on the front, so I just put journal number 11. I don't know if it actually helped the front cover for me. But yeah, this is journal number 11. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one.